in an 0-1 hole, but it's worth noting Miami has not lost consecutive home games since the 2011 NBA Finals. But the Spurs, they're a different animal. They can put the pressure on you and him, LeBron James. Much is on his shoulders. Even with a triple-double in Game 1, his heat fell short. But it was a cool and confident LeBron on Saturday, not soliciting advice for Game 2. And the Spurs coach agrees. All the media hand-wringing about what LeBron should do is certainly uncalled for. I've done more loss before. I mean, uh, I mean, we we played Orlando. I was in Cleveland. We played Orlando in the Eastern Conference Finals, and I think I averaged 38, 36, or whatever I averaged. I guess I should have done more of that series as well. Um, but I can't. I can't really get involved or, or, or care. I don't really read too much. I know what I say to you guys, and I know the questions you guys ask me. But I don't really read too much of what people say. Um, I, I do what's best for the team. And what's best for the team, it doesn't always result in a win. I wish, I mean, I wish we can go 16 and 0 in the playoffs. That would be awesome, you know. But I think it's challenges that come with the game. You learn from game to game and, and ways you can get better. And, uh, uh, you know, I want to win just as bad as anyone, you know. And I'm going to put myself and put my team in a position to win. And uh, uh, I got to try to make the plays. But I can't worry about if people saying, well, you know, you should have done more, you should have been more aggressive just because you got a loss. You know, um, winning and losing is part of the game. He's a grown man. Uh, he doesn't need any of you to tell him anything. He knows more than all of you put together. He understands the game. Uh, if he makes a pass uh, and you all think he should have shot it or he shoots it and you think he should have made a pass, your opinions mean nothing to him, as they should not mean anything to him. Uh, he's a great player. And uh, his decisions are what they are. It's a game. All decisions don't work out. They didn't always work out for Michael or Tim Duncan or Shaquille O'Neal or Kobe Bryant or whoever. Uh, you, you make a decision, and that's what you go with. But uh, all the chirp, chirp, chirping about what he should have done, uh, I thought it was hilarious from the beginning. And frankly, I was very happy for him as the year progressed when it became obvious he was comfortable in his own skin and didn't need to listen to any of you all. A lot of players do, but not in this fashion. That is, <laughs> six and half court shots and not really running up to the line. I mean, he's just standing there not firing away. This is impressive. I mean, th this is not a heave. This is a straight up, in form, in rhythm, jump <laughs> shot from half court. That's half -court. very, very few players mm. have the ability, Watch it. folks, to just catch it and shoot it that without deep. running into that. That's, mm. That is impressive. Will Miami be impressive in game two? You guys expecting a bounce back where we have an even series well, by the time we head out? I tell you what, if he's shooting a lot of those in game two, <laughs> it's, it's not looking good for the Miami Heat. <laughs>